Recording in progress. So. Hmm. Satnam, everyone. It's Candace from Soulfire Social. What a pleasure to have you here live and virtually. Lovely Wednesday afternoon. We've actually cleared out some of the smoke here in Bend. It's really beautiful. We get to see the blue sky peeking through, which is so nice. It's cooled down the temperature as well, so nice time to be outside. This is our last Wednesday class. I've got a class on Friday, um, class on Monday and sound healing, but then we are going to be wrapping it up until I am back next month. So I'm very happy to see you here. And I'm teaching you one of the first classes I ever taught. It's like literally just one of my all time favorites and it's for opening the heart. And I know like people do a lot of like heart opening everything, but it literally, the Korea, it says it's like an intermediate class, but it's a little bit more. It's like it's just a little bit physical, a lot of meditation and it kind of mixes everything up. Like little pranayama in the beginning, little pranayama in the middle, meditation in the middle, then more movement. So it's kind of like the antithesis of the traditional Kriya, but it literally helps, it, it makes you like feel compassionate and kind and loving. And I know like, like a lot of things will be like, oh, okay, so let's open our hearts. This one actually really works. And every time I teach it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I, you kind of want to run out into the street and be like, like help somebody and <laughs> be like, just like spread the love and joy. It's really, really beautiful. And I, I invite you to like feel into that in like the next 24 hours. So we're going to do that and come into that heart opening loving space. So let's first, however, start with our hands on our knees. Let's close the eyes. I want you to go ahead and feel your sitting bones right down into the earth, allowing yourself to visualize a beautiful connection as if that root chakra down into the root of the mother, feeling the connection, the opening, the pull of gravity and allowing yourself to sit all the way down as we bring our attention to our breath, I want you to pull it down to that root, like you're breathing in all the way down into the root chakra. Feel the expansion into that lower triangle, allowing the pelvis and the belly to expand as we get prana more deeply in that lower triangle. Exhaling, releasing through the nose any stale energy. Let's do that again, breathing in through the nose all the way down to the pelvic floor exhaling releasing i want you to make sure that those hips are tilted forward and that we open up through the heart space maybe bringing the shoulders up and back allowing yourself to really feel into the expansiveness through the heart chakra in the front and the back and let's now breathe all the way down but then pull it up, feel it come, the prana through the navel, through the solar plexus, up into the breastbone, opening up the front of the heart, our giving. And also making sure you pay a little attention to spreading it through the back so we're ready to receive as well. Let's exhale, release that prana. One more time, all the way down, up through the belly, up into the heart, opening up front and back. And as we are fully expanded through that green air heart, reaching the crown up towards the heavens, fully expansive, fully elongated, and release the breath. And then let's go ahead this time all the way down, all the way up. And this time when you feel it really at the top of the heart space, take your tongue, push your tongue to the roof of the mouth, bring the energy through the throat, up to the third eye, up to the crown and visualize a beautiful opening, your crown chakra up to the heavens, the prana within expanding the art field. And let's let go with a great big sigh here. Ah. Bring the palms out in front of you and let's rub the hands together vigorously, creating that warmth and creating that heat. Beautiful. And then bring that heat into a prayer pose. Thumbs connect at the sternum, fingers pointing up and out, forearms parallel to the earth, 
find your perfect posture and we will tune in with the Adi Mantra followed by the Mangala Charn. I want you to think about what this vibration means, the opening of the heart to the heavens, the flow of the small self to the higher self, connecting to something greater, the wisdom above, the wisdom within, surrounding yourselves with a protective light. Take the deep inhale. Great big sigh out. Uh, inhale to begin. Hum. that golden chain, heart to heaven, heaven to heart. Release the breath. And I want to do one movement. We're going to get a little, get a little funky and wild on our one movement before we start this Kriya. I did it this morning and it felt really, really good. So we're just going to do it because it kind of opens up everything. So this Kriya goes into like standing posture. Um, but let's, uh, let's come into a cat cow. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And I want you just to watch me one time. So, you know, we do that cat cow variation that we all love or that I love that I hope you also love, but we're going to inhale here. So if everyone just inhales up and let's going to have our eye focus on our third eye, the pelvis is back. You kind of let the belly come down. So it's like someone sitting on your back, right? Then let's inhale and let's be really dramatic. Inhaling, curving up into your cat. And when you get to the highest point in the back, then I want you to release the fingers and I want you to open up. So you're gonna be using your core to do this, opening up to the day and a gentle bend in the back. Then we're gonna come forward. And again, it's like someone's pulling up the arch in the spine as we come down in the cat and then we pull back, buttocks to the feet. We drop the third eye to the earth. And then when we come up, rather than coming forward, I want you to rotate your hips forward and around, making a circle one direction, then forward and around in the other direction, just really opening up that space. Tap back, then come forward. Here, back into the cow. Inhale, exhale, cat, open up, inhale, all the way up, exhale down, cat, drop it, drop the third eye, inhale, shift round, drop it, inhale, shift round, drop it, inhale, up, Exhale, cat, open. 
Inhale, you got it. Find your breath, find your movement, find your pace, and just enjoy this beautiful opening. on the back part of that body and we're going to take a big inhale here and squeeze Molabanda, pull up anus sex organs everything super tight up and in first pull of that root block activating the kundalini visualize it just rising up breaking through blocks and expanding the energy through the back of the body lighting yourself up like a beautiful rainbow that third eye activation as it touches even deeper into the earth you're holding this that navel is back to the spine and when you need to release you start slowly breath feel it through the body feel it in the belly let go of the lock slowly start to press yourself up vertebra by vertebra I want you to come up onto so you're just on the knees you keep the eyes closed you're just pushing yourself up have your fingertips to either side you're grounded your crown is reaching up taking a moment to come into contemplation what is blocking you from loving yourself fully what is blocking you from loving another with your full heart as we 
contemplate this honoring the fact that we have to come into our own self-love, our own worth, compassion for the self before we can properly honor that love for the other, others. Feel into how your field is radiating the flow within your body. So we're gonna check back in at the end of class. So take a moment, flip your palms so they're up. We're gonna inhale, I want you to sweep up on an inhale to a prayer above your head, palms touch. Take the extra sip, rounded lips. Reaching up, feeling it in the armpits, squeezing Mula Banda. I want you to feel the pull in the armpits. That's the balance of the Ida and the Pangala. And then we direct the energy up through the central channel. Exhaling, breathe, bring the prayer down to your heart. Manifesting energies in that green air heart space. Let's take an inhale. Flip the prayer. Bring the energies down on the exhale. And then go ahead and make your way to standing. We kick off with the first posture in our Kriya today. We're gonna have our legs a little more than hip width distance apart. I want you to have a really nice solid foundation. Make sure, so Jennifer wants to pop on. Sorry, everybody. Okay, so just here with our legs a little bit more than hip width distance and your hands are coming into a prayer pose. And the forearms, you want them to be really parallel to the earth. It's a strong posture. Check your jaw, maybe do a little jaw opening. Don't want to be tense. Your tongue should be in the soft palate. Eye focus, third eye. We're going to start a really profound breath of fire. Obviously, if you're pregnant, first couple days of your moon, go to a long, deep breath. But otherwise, I want you really intensely working a three minute breath of fire. Let's begin.
eye focus, third eye, chin is tilted, make sure that channel is flowing. Just flip the palms so they're facing out. And when we do release here, take your time, sweep that field. Let go of the breath, let go of the banda. And make that feel so beautiful, vibrant, and uniquely your own. When the hands do eventually make it to your thighs, have a moment, ground through those feet, feel the connection with the earth, reach your crown up. Let's take two long deep breaths in and out the nose. I want them to be all the way in, all the way out. Fill yourself up with that breath of life. Three minutes of breath of fire will get a ton of life into those cells. It also lights up Manapura, your confidence, your powerhouse. When you finish those breaths, make fists with your hands. The thumbs are on the outside. And I want you to bring your elbows back and open your heart. And you're going to stay in this really strong position here. And what I was asking you to think about, what is blocking you from loving yourself fully? What is blocking you from loving others fully? Whatever that is, if you want to pinpoint one thing or rack it up like a stack of bowling balls, place it in front of you because we are going to be punching out here strong and powerful with the eyes closed. I want you to just go for it and clear that space. You can be bouncing on the thighs like you're in boxing class, but you want this out, 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 and out. Go. Take a 
moment. close focusing on how does that feel like this empowerment like we're taking own action to clear our space the hands are now open and have the have the fingers together like you're making like a little paddle with your hands and what we're gonna do now is we're going to inhale up and over using the shoulders and this is all about clearing the field expanding our aura. It's an inhale up, it's an exhale down, and I want you to start off really slow, and then we're gonna speed it up. Obviously, if you have shoulder issues, just be conscientious, but what color is your aura? White, golden light, expand it, flow it. coming 
palms facing forward, release the breath. Stand super strong, perfect your posture so that the Jalandhar bun is engaged. Eye focus is at the third eye. Let's inhale together. Pull up on Mula Bandha together. Igniting the root lock. Light up that fire, let it curl up. Let it break through blocks, let it get you back into flow. Pull, hold, ignite. touching and the thumb is pointing towards you. If this is my navel and solar plexus, this is my confidence. This is my fire. It goes up over my green air heart and it comes to what? My throat, the light blue, the ether, right? So we're gonna exhale down. It goes as far as your navel solar plexus. You find the center of your energy point there, right in the fire. Inhale it up to the throat. Exhale it down. It's gonna be strong and powerful. We're gonna be here uh, for three minutes. So I want you to be breathing. Also, the navel is pumping. It's like a breath of fire. Yes, perfect. Fifty 
seconds left. Find the power. Drop them into your lap for a moment. Breathe. Taking in these words, sa, ta, na, ma. When we chant these words, infinity, <clears throat> life, death, rebirth, you can be visualizing that transition, infinity, life, death, rebirth, sa, ta, na, ma, tongue hits the roof of the mouth. In this case, we are going to be bringing our elbows down by the body, almost pressing into the rib cage. The palms are up, this is a little different. You are not yet going to be doing any of the mudra with the fingers. You are simply going to be listening. And then when you hear me start to chant, you're mentally chanting hear me start to chant, join me, and then I'll let you know when we're going to start with the mudra.
mentally chanting while you press on the mudra infinity life death and rebirth Stop with the mudra and simply chant it in your mind. And inhale, hold the breath, release the breath, take the right hand down to Gyan Mudra on the right knee, take the left hand, curl the fingers down, the thumb holds all of the fingers except the index, the index closes off the left nostril. We start to breathe out of the right nostril. We're only here for 30 seconds, this masculine, fiery side for switching to the feminine moon side on the left. All the way in, all the way out. Notice the flow of prana. Usually during the day, this right side is wide open. Do one more, release, switch hands, left in Gyan Mudra, right, nostril closed, inhale deeply, 
in and out through the left nostril.
clarity and the joy that comes to vibrating in that space. setting an intention or just being in this place of love. bring our hands to our hearts and as we close our session first round honoring ourselves with this love and light the second round opening up to one another sharing our beautiful energy and then sending it out to the collective before closing in our truth and our highest frequency with our sat deep inhale bring your prayer up over your head sending out the prayer that may all beings know peace may all yoga practice contribute to the well-being of all as we exhale we bring our prayer down through the chakras peace to all light to all truth to all and love to all I bow down giving thanks to Mother Earth and Father Sky Blessing you and blessing your prayers. Thanking you so much for coming today. May we have done good work here in opening our heart and restoring these feelings of love and compassion. Sat Nam, I hope you feel it through the evening and into tomorrow. So thank you for joining. Um, I love that one. 
Um, just a reminder, we have class Friday. It's going to be that fun one we did with our eyes actually open. Um, we're going to re-record that, so welcome to join. Let me come up and just say hi, see how you're doing. Okay, beautiful Satnam. How you doing?